take the easy ones first. The state's motion in limine about overruling whatever objection uh, the defense might ever uh, offer to uh, evidence on the basis of uh, 403 waste of time and the defense um, response in opposition there too. Um, I am uh, ruling um, for the defense on that one for all of the reasons stated in Mr. Weinstein's response in opposition. Takes care of that one. The motion in limine by the state to revisit the court's uh, ruling excluding state's exhibit 5 to a Y. I have uh, considered that and I will not be um, changing my ruling on that. The uh, couple of uncharged post indictment intrinsic acts that were still outstanding. I've got one question on um, the circumstance that involved um, Mr. Ryan and the fight, <clears throat> one, and I can't remember which co-defendant, but there was a co-defendant who entered a guilty plea and attested to a conversation having been had about protecting a YSL member in the jail and hurting somebody else. Was What was that about? Do y'all remember that? And did that have anything to do with this? Or no, were those unrelated? That was before this. Okay. All right. Um, okay. So uh, the court has um, determined that neither the um, Ryan situation um, nor the alleged passing of Percocet um, to Defendant Williams in court meet the requirements um, to be an intrinsic act. And so... I am not going to admit either of those. And I've also, well, I guess reconsidered, thought again about um, my ruling, ruling out um, the Stillwell situation of um, some contraband being in his um, cell. And I'm going to stand on my ruling with regard to that as well. One question I saw in my notes, something about the, uh, the search for Attorney Johnson, the search of Attorney Johnson's laptop, and something that Defendant Williams had requested with regard to that. Can you, um, Mr. Steele, refresh my memory on what that was about? Yes, back to the Sure. Good morning. Um, can can um, can we can I make a statement to the court without the prosecutors here and without the media, so it would be on a sealed record? And then, if you believe it should not be sealed, obviously I will repeat it, or you can. Have Ms. Winfrey read it back, but I believe it in an abundance of caution. Uh, come on up. Okay. All right, so I appreciate that. Uh, Mr. Steele, and that, that can be sealed to the extent this record ever goes anywhere.
All right, I know that there are some things outstanding that um, concern Mr. Ryan, and there's been a request that that be handled tomorrow instead of today. That's fine. Um, so I'll set that aside for now. The, I appreciate everybody submitting case law on the issue of whether the RICO conspiracy can be established based on an overt act that's not alleged in the indictment. Frankly, it's a lot of stuff to read. And since some of the submissions were late last night or, you know, basically all throughout the day yesterday. Um, I have not read all of that, so we'll take that up at some other time, and that's really more of an end of trial issue for us anyway. Okay. 